Stronghold and Civilization. Want to mix those two series together? No? Well, here it is. It was a time where games were brown and bloomy. It was also a time of experimentation, and Firaxis liked collaborating with other developers to make unique and sometimes bizarre games. Sim Golf was Firaxis and Maxis, which you wouldn't think the Civilization devs would mix with the Sims devs, but that turned out great. I got a Sim Golf video if you want a nostalgia trip. Mashuno! Meanwhile, predating Caesar IV by a few months is this other 3D ancient Roman city builder called Civ City Rome. It's similar in a lot of ways, but distinctly a mix of stronghold and civilization. You have to cite your granary, but there's also a tech tree with mysticism and code of laws. There's an advisor that constantly talks like in Stronghold, while also a civilopedia. This mixing created a unique and interesting game, but it's also weird and honestly bizarre at times. Today we play this amalgamation of series in my effort to check out all five 3D ancient Roman city builders of that decade. Civ City Rome. This game predates Caesar IV by a few months. So there were a lot of competing, 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 <laughs> ancient Roman 3D city builders in the year of 2006, and then more came in 2008, and another one came in 2010, and there, there were actually a lot. There were like five ancient Roman 3D city builders around this era, and this was after the golden age of city building, so things... they could get weird. It was after the golden age of city building, and... 3D was the latest rage. Windows Vista was the primary operating system. <laughs> it was actually fine for me, I was fine with Vista. But here, we have Civ City Rome. A game I've never played. I've never played these competing Roman city builders. I played Caesar IV and I didn't like it. I finished it on the channel if you want to watch that. It gets way better after the first 10 missions. The first 10 missions suck. <laughs> and then it becomes okay. So let's see if this one uh, can work out a little bit better. We've got it in widescreen. It's just a text edit to get into widescreen. So the UI will be stretched, but let's press play. And we can begin. The Civ City Rome campaign, starting out as a humble engineer. This story-driven campaign will teach you the art of city building. New Civ City players should start here. Perfect. Lavinium is where we begin our journey. Hail, citizen. I am Gaius Petonus, Master of Works. If this enterprise that we call Rome is to succeed, our fledgling city needs stone. Much stone. Our surveyor has reported a promising quantity in a valley to the south. Go there and secure it. I have given to your assisted Marius a purse of denarii. This should be enough to set up the small mining concern needed. The locals nearby are placid enough and should easily be recruited. Apart from a few wild beasts nearby, I expect you to encounter no problems. Oh, and it just cuts out right there. <laughs> It ends as abruptly as it starts. <laughs> I'm getting Caesar 4 vibes. <clears throat> However, on Steam, this one is rated higher than Caesar 4, but maybe that's because reputation, I don't know. By the way, this game is made by Firefly Studios and Firaxis. Like both of them, Firefly Studios and Firaxis. Wow. Mission objectives, uh, win condition, goods to Rome, stone 10. Lose condition uh, is dependent on whether you're on kids difficulty, easy, normal, or hard. We can play hard. We're new to the game, but we'll play hard. It's fine. Um, what are these other tabs? Help, roads, town center. So I, I popped into the game just now. It, this is sort of, it's the town center placing. It's kind of stronghold-esque. 
uh, establish a city by placing the town center. Also, you want to know how this is actually made by Firefly? Listen to this. Your first task as a new governor is to choose a good position for your town center. This is where people will arrive to look for jobs in the new city. Okay. Hail, governor. Where shall we site our new town center? Where shall we site our town center? Site your granary, sire. <laughs> That's how you know this is made by Firefly. They use the word site. <laughs> Only Firefly uses that word. No other developer uses the word site. You're not playing StarCraft and it's like, site your hatchery. No. <laughs> no one uses site. By the way, some cool things about this game is WASD, W-A-S-D, actually control the camera. That is actually something that's more of a modern thing. A lot of old games do not have WASD as controls. And sometimes you actually want to like get a third-party software to rebind WASD to arrow keys, which also work here, uh, in, in old games because it's just so much better using WASD to scroll around. Uh, but there's no rebindable hotkeys in this game as far as I can tell, so that's kind of... Typical of the age. Oh look, there's like fish. So this is the same same year as Caesar 4. Um, so we, we can compare it to that. Town center. So I assume this is the stone. Oh, look how bloomy the stone is today. Hello, year 2006. Your bloom looks 2006. Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Brown and bloom. Brown and bloom. The diet of the mid noughties <laughs> I, th I think you can disable bloom. Let's see if it looks better. Oh, you can't disable bloom in game. You can only do it when you are launching the game. Okay. So Bloom is toggleable. The graphics options are outside the game. So for now, we will experience it as the game intends. This is a tutorial up here. Your first task as a new governor. To move around the map, move the mouse <laughs> pointer the to mouse. the edges of the screen or use S, W, A, D or the Swad. cursor Swad. <laughs> when you move around the map, the overhead mini map, bottom left corner, will move and show your current position. Who does to zoom SWAD? Into the map, spin the mouse wheel forward. To zoom out, spin the mouse wheel backwards. Alternatively, you can use the R and F keys. Look, we've heard Wasad and Wazd so far. Wasad makes sense because apparently in Poland, in Polish, Wasad means something. So it's like a, oh, it's it's like a word. Wasad. Um, and also, generally, every arrangement of WASD I've heard starts with W because it's at the top. But they start S-W-A-D? South, North, West, East? Who does that? <laughs> Firefly of Araxis. Who decide this? Literally unplayable. <laughs> Swad. <laughs> to rotate the map, hold yep, down okay. as new citizens arrive you will need to give them some jobs. The jobs you provide will depend on your current mission objective. For example, if your objective is to acquire stone, then place a stone quarry and- Okay, okay, that's fine. Why, why is, this is the max zoom out, I think. Um, it's hard to tell because I've just got the game into widescreen and the settings, there are camera controls. Yeah, we want this, th this free camera angle is set to low. And what that means is, we can, no, it's, it's actually stuck. Hold on. The camera settings are stuck. Let's set that to high. Okay. Resume. Oh, wait, no, I need to change camera mode. There we go. So we need to go back and change this to low because this means low angle. Sorry. There's this camera modes. There we go. Now we can look. How far does it let us zoom in? If you zoom in too much, it snaps back to maximum zoom, not, not, not maximum zoom out, but like if you zoom into the ground, it snaps you back. They're like, no, no graphics clipping for you. 
<laughs> so actually, the, the fidelity of things is actually fine. You can see up this guy's skirt and you see he's just got a invisible crotch there. But, like, he's got a face. That's not bad. The shadows move when you scroll around, but, you know, that's typical of the age. Is he naked? No, no, he's, he's got a... So I would zo I keep zooming in. <laughs> you just keep zooming in. It's ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Uh, we, we need to collect stone. Um, As new citizens arrive, you will... That, that voice talks every time I open that. You cannot refer to that. Okay, what are the buildings we have? Shacks. The most basic of all housing. All you buildings can be rotated before they are placed by using the mouse wheel. Okay. Shack unoccupied. Okay, what else we got? Warehouses to store goods. I assume we will need a warehouse to store goods. Let's just place it there. Uh, these are roads. Click and drag to place roads. They will greatly speed up your citizens' travel. Great. Uh, we have a road. Uh, is there fertile land in this game? Okay, I want to look at the tutorial, but he keeps talking. So, excuse this guy. Oh, he's not saying anything. Great. Perfect. Uh, jobs you need to provide will depend on the current mission objectives. If it's acquire stone, place a stone quarry in a warehouse close to the stone resource. Okay. Stone quarry, which should be... Commerce? No. Farms and fishing? No. Oh, resources are infrastructure? Infrastructure tab has resource collection. That's strange. A worker is on his way. We have one person in the city. Oh, two people in the city. Great. Where does it show our population? Is this our population? Oh, that's up. We have 200 people in the city. Shacks. We have 300 people in the city. Everyone's really happy. So that's good. City reports. This was the age where they were like, oh, UI needs to have fewer words. You should represent everything graphically. <laughs> and although, yes, designing graphics to communicate is actually very difficult. I've actually been through university training graphic design. And UI design is very, very difficult. Let's... I, I know I moused over, but I didn't actually read it. What are these four bars? The top one... Entertainment? Yes. Second one... Gods? Religion? Okay. Third one... Health using the wrong symbol and cleanliness, I guess. Civil services. Okay. And the fourth one is flowers? Farming? Splendor. <laughs> okay. It's aesthetics. It's graphics. Okay. Um, so, by the way, this is a double snake with wings. That's a picture of Hermes, not medicine. Medicine is one snake, which is the logo we use here, which is the Asclepius. That is the Caduceus. It's the wrong one. <clears throat> Happiness, finances, pie charts, advisors, no, population, uh, requests, so the empire, military, okay, okay, we're, we're learning the graphics, <clears throat> the smiley seems out of time, yeah, that, that's what really dates this, that. Hmm, that's kind of strange. They were like, can we think of a Roman contemporary graphic to represent happiness? No, I can't think of anything. Just put the yellow smiley face. Okay, so we're pretty limited on what we can build here. So we're just trying to get more stone. So I don't know, what is this? City's civilization rating. Goods to Rome. Loan. Two loans available. Why is there a circle on this? Is this telling me something? I don't know. Finally, 
Place some basic housing for your new workers. Housing is to Civ City what cities are to civilization, the lifeblood of the game. As your housing develops over time, so your tax income increases. With each new civilizing feature comes an increase in the tax revenue the house will provide. Wait, wait. Housing is to Civ City what cities are to civilization. Oh, that's right. This is a Firaxis game, so they can just reference civilization directly. So they're 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 referencing civilization the game, not civilization civilization. They're referencing civilization the game. They're expecting people who have played this game to uh, they're expecting people who play this game to have played civilization. That is so strange. That's like playing StarCraft and it's like, building supply depots are like building farms in Warcraft. And yeah, I get it that maybe if you're playing StarCraft you might have played Warcraft, but it's such a weird way to teach you because it's like, housing is to Civ City what cities are to civilization. They're just assuming every player has played civilization. <laughs> that, that is, that is bizarre. Right? That's that's so strange. Like I didn't I didn't get it in his voice, because you can't capitalize when you read the word. I thought he was saying housing is to Civ City what cities are to civilization. And I'm like, what? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Then I read it and it's a capital C. And I'm like, oh, literally the game. And it what threw me off is when you click on this, it says civilization in the top right corner. So I'm like Housing is to Civ City what cities are to civilization? And I was thinking this because it said civilization up there. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's a civilization with a capital C, but that's not referring to the game. That's referring to the civilization panel. <laughs> Housing is to Civ City what Pylons is to StarCraft, right? It's like saying that. It's just they don't own StarCraft, they own Civilization. So it's like, oh, this is progress. What a hideous graphic. <laughs> what is this? This is straight from the programmer. They're like, do we need to create a... No, we, we don't have time. It, it just, just put a circle. It's just Just use it as is. Um, no, no, I, I think it's because we're using a widescreen change, so it's it's not fitting in the circle. So this this graphic is separate from the circle behind it, but even if it was a line, so you can see like where it does a line, it's still ugly. <laughs> <clears throat> right, right, okay. So widescreen makes the graphics behind it ovals, but the circle itself is programmed. It's not a graphic, it's programmed. You, you can have visuals which exist from programming. You know, like you can define a triangle and say, fill that triangle with blue, and then you'll get a blue triangle. It's not a graphic, it's programming, right? So these circles are programming, but the, 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 the groove circle behind it is a graphic which stretches and I always find it weird that UIs became like this because if you go back to a lot of 90s games the UIs were based on windows right so like actual like windows windows like you open a folder and then you maximize the folder nothing gets stretched right when you're browsing my computer right if you maximize the folder the sidebar just moves to the left, right? And a lot of UI in the 90s was like that. If you play Civilization 2 and apply a widescreen mod to it today, the UI looks fine. It just shifts over to the edge of the screen. Same thing with the Impressions game, Governor, Caesar 3 Pharaoh. all the stone that was requested is now stored. Rome has dispatched an engineer to collect it. Very good. Uh, so, like, si the, the UI that really impressed me from the 90s was SimPark. SimPark, the bottom, the bottom bar that's here, showed, like, on lower resolutions, like, five options. And then there's, like, an arrow to pointing to, to show the next set of options. But when I got it into widescreen, it just added all the buttons onto the screen. So the UI 
was programmed, right? And it was graphical elements for the icons, but the UI was programmed to fit whatever screen it was on, right? And that's an adaptive UI. That's a responsive UI, which is actually a very modern concept, but most UI from 90s games were responsive UIs. But then in the early 2000s... The stone is on its way to Rome. To mid noughties like 2005, 2006, 2008, the UIs became completely graphical. And that made them so rigid. As soon as you messed with the resolution, it just changed everything. And stretched everything and broke everything. And it's, it's honestly a step down from 90s UI programming, <clears throat> right? Go back to 90s games and get them into widescreen. They're fine. Age of Wonders 1, Caesar 3, Pharaoh, Age of Empires 1, the UI just stretches. Uh, the UI just adjusts. Like the, the positioning of the bars and stuff stretch, but the graphics themselves, they're tiled or they're individual elements which just spread out or move. Nothing stretches, nothing breaks, right? And Governor, also, your mission is a success. Okay. <laughs> this typography is reminding me of Caesar Fall. <laughs> Congratulations, comma, lowercase y. That that feels this is typography. I went to design school, by the way. This this is this is ugly. <laughs> Caesar 4 vibes. Not as bad as Caesar 4, though. Caesar 4 had text on a partially transparent window in front of more text. <laughs> It's, it's very, it's like, just make the window black. Like, don't don't bother with this transparency stuff. See, they're smart here. They just put a graphic behind there. <laughs> it was like text, like a semi-transparent black window, more text. And it's like, what is this? But okay, fine. Like, just put an exclamation after congratulations. Uppercase, all of success. Just write there, success. I would, nowadays you would say victory. Uppercase, all. Don't use an exclamation there. Put an exclamation there. Have the Y be capital. It'd look much better. Your mission is a success. It has to tell you twice. It's our Hail best friend. Hail, citizen. Your first shipment of stone has arrived, but it seems you still have much work to do. I'm told that your savages spend long periods of their time scavenging for food and water. This is not the Roman way. They must be made more efficient. Sing some wells for them. Give them a few goats. Rome needs her stone. His head is huge. His his torso is huge. But then his arms are tiny. You saw that? <laughs> Acquire 50 meat and send 30 stone to Rome. Okay. Lose condition is going down to that. Two loans available. Okay. Uh, do we need tips? Place a granary. Oh, do we have to cite our granary? I hope we have to cite our granary. Goat farms, butchers. Single goat farm can provide goat carcasses for multiple butchers shops. Okay. Research animal husbandry. There's technology in this game. If happiness starts to fall, build more housing or maybe increase your city's ration levels. Okay. Oh, we're, we're back to the same city. Okay. So. Well. I assume we should build a well. Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. Okay. Let's site our granary. I'll have it next to the warehouse like Governor, that. Governor, the easiest way to fill this granary and feed our people would be to site a goat farm and some butchers. Site a goat farm. Okay, so goat farms probably can be further back. Uh, there's no fertility as far as I can tell. So let's just site a goat Goats farm. Goats slaughtered here will be hung up awaiting a butcher who will chop the carcasses into meat. Butchers. So, wait, this is access from the front and back? How strange. Governor, one of our citizens has collected water from the well and improved his humble shack. He now has a splendid small hut. This is good, as we will now receive more tax from this household. Governor, one of our houses has met its first need and grown to a more advanced dwelling. 
If we continue to civilize our households in this way, we will greatly increase our tax income. Oh, look at that. When you zoom in enough, you get to see inside the house. What a splendid small hut. It has received water, therefore contains one water pot. So it, it allows you to look into buildings if you get close enough. So like here, here is um, a shack. If you zoom out... Oh, that's just how the shack looks. <laughs> you don't need windows on a shack. This is not a shack. A shack has walls. This is not a shack. This is like a lean-to. What? <laughs> the shack is worse than I thought. I was like, oh, you can see inside this house. Nice at the zoom level. You can see inside the shack. Let's zoom out. Oh, no. <laughs> that shack. Oh, no. You only need one butcher's. Well, I'm not optimizing things. It's, it just told me, oh, you can support... Um, uh, what? Multiple butchers on a single farm thing. Oh, how do roads work on this? Can you do diagonal roads? Oh, you can do diagonal ro roads. Okay, nice. Oh, there we go. Both houses evolved. I don't know how many, how, how much housing we need. How do you tell? How do you... Wages, rations, work time. S see, they keep using the word civilization and civilopedia. Uh, unemployment, housed workers. Where, where is, where is homeless? Unhoused citizen, 600. House citizen, 200. So it's 100 per house. Vagrants, 300. What's the difference between unhoused and vagrants? Let's build more shacks. So I assume we need maybe six. Right? Nice. Okay, we've got a an interesting looking city here. Meat is coming in. Do we need a market to distribute the meat? Or... Butcher's shops. No. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> Unhoused people have jobs. They just don't have a home. Ah, okay. Platinum Rider, thank you so much. Vagrants are just here to reduce your happiness. So, vagrants are unemployed. So we have 300 unemployed. How many butcher shops can you support on... Let's try to put four. Widen this road since the entrance does look like to be too tiled. So the the butcher goes to the goat farm. What is this? What is what is this graphic? What is this red blue rainbow? What what does that mean? It's an arrow pointing from the center of the field to this. Oh, wait, there's a guy. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's a worker. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is it pointing at? <laughs> he just clubs the goat? <laughs> I, that's not how you slaughter goats. You just hit it on the head with a stick. Firaxis or Firefly? Who's responsible? Who's responsible? You swads. <laughs> Peggy 18. Adult only. There's a surprising amount of detail though in terms of the animation. The animations are actually fine. You know what's actually interesting? Character animations in the 90s to 
well, 3D character animations through the two, early 2000s tended to be garbage. Think Mar... Oh, those guys are running over. Think... Governor, the stone and meat are now safely stored in the city. Uh, think Bethesda games, right? Character animations tended to be really bad. But these animations, they're like really good. This is pre-mocap and stuff, right? It's like, see this butcher here? It's like very realistic animation. So whoever did the animations in this game, props. I mean, they're still sliding along the ground like that, right? That's fine. But like the walk cycle, the walk animation is actually fine. They're just... <laughs> the, the run animation is fine as well. It's just so fast. It's just the walk cycle is too slow for how fast the units move. So it looks like they're sliding. Right? But when they walk slowly, the horses are a little stiff. But honestly, not the worst. The horses look so prim and proper, they're like... <laughs> they're like show horses. But when they... see, when it moves slow, it's fine. The animations are designed for their slowest moving, moving speed. It's just sometimes the moving speed, for gameplay reasons, goes faster. Okay. Yeah, Bethesda games still have bad animations, right? You play Skyrim and it's still very... <laughs> the death animations. What is with Bethesda and not having realistic weight on dead bodies? Why are they all like filled with helium? I don't understand. Why? When someone dies, if you get shot by an arrow, you don't fly 10 feet. You fall straight down. <laughs> Can you change the game speed? I assume Governor, yes. your mission is a success. But we're too good at the game. Success. Congratulations. Success. It tells you you've won three times, actually. With the voice, it's four times. It tells you you've won four times, in case you missed it. Like, why does this window even exist, considering there is a pop-up saying you've won? Why, why does it need two? <laughs> did, did people not realize they were winning? <laughs> and they're like, we, we've got to add another window. Your mission is a success. Did we win? I can't tell. <laughs> Hail, citizen. The stone from your village now flows freely into Rome. However, the supply is not limitless, and we must plan ahead to the time when the stone runs out. Your savages work well, and they will make good citizens. Where once they provided Rome with stone, soon they will provide her with tax. Build your village into a town. Give them protection. Give them proper clothing. Turn them into Romans. Yeah, that, that screen needs this text. They wrote out the text. It's right here. This is this is his script. It's right here. <laughs> but like it's just the guy. <laughs> Alright, I assume these don't change, right? Uh these several watchtowers. So we're getting some uh military. Left click on houses to see, as well as meet your houses need water from wells, tunics from weavers, who in turn will require a supply of linen from flax farms. Workers such as the butcher will only walk a limited distance. Okay, good to know. Uh, remember, citizens will walk a maximum distance to collect goods from shops. The distance is shown by the green circle when left clicking on their house. Okay, that's actually good to know. Get five large huts and get another 50 stone. Good. So. That is their range. Okay. So this is... Woe well uh, betide us. The gods must surely look down on our disrespectful city in despair. Oh, I didn't realize they had lines. But wait, what is... What is this compass? Change jobs. Oh, you can... Oh. Oh, you can manually well change... Woe betide us. The gods must surely look down on our disrespectful city in despair. The Civilopedia button doesn't work. I know this is a sun clock, but what is it? Oh, work free to- Oh, they have schedules? Okay, this this game is is getting some... It's It's got some interesting simulation going on. Citizen home. So you can- My neighbor's cat died recently. 
citizens work. Ave. Ave. <laughs> I Governor, like that. Wild animals are attacking our citizens. We should build some watchtowers to protect them. Danger, Pause. Governor. Wild animals are attacking our people. Wild animals. Let's have a look at this lion. You, you zoom in to the ground and it pops you back out to the distance. Ah, uh, yes. A lion. Look at this one. It, it's, it's hunting. Look, see, the animation is actually on point. Like, this freeze frame of the animation... Eat the guy. The guy doesn't mind. Look at that death animation. It's better than Bethesda games. <laughs> he fell straight down, not into the sky. You notice that? Okay, uh, military. Watchtower. Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. Danger, Governor. Again. Wild animals are attacking our people. Why can't I place this here? What is this alignment? Is this... Okay, so that covers that. And I guess we'll need a second one over here. To cover... This. No. Why can't I place it here? Strange. Okay, I guess I'll place it here. Oh, you see that? I paused the game. Right-clicking unpauses the game. So if I select to build a building... Wait, what? That unpauses the game as well? What? What is unpausing the game? Just clicking the menu? Unpauses the game? <laughs> so you're not allowed to build when it's paused, but instead of restricting you from building, it just unpauses the game when you click a UI element. But then you can re-pause it when the UI element is open. Governor, mountain lions have been sighted coming from the trees. Danger, Governor. Wild animals are attacking our people. I assume the... Th oh, it's a slinger. It's just blinded by the rocks, you know, the blooms all up in the eyes. What are you attacking? Oh, they're all stuck on the walls and stuff. Yeah, th this is more Bethesda animation. Tragedy. The Emperor is said to have watched on as part of Rome burns. What? <laughs> is that Nero? Can I tell this to attack? Oh, this... Career advisor. We have a slave as an advisor? U.S. equivalent per year. <laughs> uh, how much they get paid? Thousand to four thousand for a tonsori vigil. Ten thousand a year. Slave trader. A hundred to five hundred thousand per year. Wow. Senator. Ten to a, a thousand million per year. Wow. Danger, Governor. Wild animals are attacking our people. Okay, so the problem is... The power of Carthage was always based on its fleet. That's what my old dad used to tell me. The, um... 
the tower is stuck trying to throw a rock at something that should be within range, but it's not. The rock's just landing right here. What is... So we gotta acquire stone and get large huts. So I guess it's fine. So what do these... These need tunics. Okay, fine. We've got 2,000 people in this. Unhoused citizen, 800, 500 vagrants. Okay, so let's just move on. Let's get a crop farm down. Bam. Once linen has been created here, tunic makers can collect it to weave into tunics. Any excess linen will be taken to a warehouse. Danger, Governor. Wild animals are attacking our people. Oh. Right, people run really fast when they're on these roads. I see that's what's causing that. There we go. Let's angle that. So we've got that and that. Then we've got things going in. Nice. Stone will slowly continue to be acquired. Um, I guess maybe I could kill... Ooh, we've got decorations. Large bushes. These... We need clear land to site this structure. We need clear land to site this structure. To site this structure? Nice. Got a hedgerow. Um, I guess I could build another... Tower just like this and maybe that will kill... The lions. I mean, we can see the lions' health bars. Yes. Go. Governor, oh, okay. watchmen report that they have killed their first lion. They one shot. Nice. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Flax fields. That's a texture. But yeah, look at the animations. Animation's still on point. Animator, whoever they got, whoever the animator is for Civ City Rome. The animation team did a great job. Look at our little town. It's actually looking fine. So these just need tunics. Uh, then I should probably build more houses. Let's offset it a bit. Let's get three more of those. That should house a decent amount of people. Uh, how many people do we have? 1,200 unhoused citizens. <laughs> okay. I don't know if larger houses house more people, but I'm guessing no. It's fine. Um, we have plenty of meat. We should still be getting stone, right? Was it yeah. Romulus or Remus who founded the old city? I can never remember. So we're waiting for... That's a sleeping guy there. Oh, so so they got these bales, and then they bring the bale over. So now there's two linen. Is there? People are always complaining that there's nothing to do here. Oh, they're sleeping. Oddly, there's like a work cycle, but there's no day-night cycle, and that's throwing me off, right? Caesar 4 had a day-night cycle, but they didn't have a work cycle. So visually, the day changed, but it didn't actually have any mechanical differences. Here, the gameplay does change. People stop working. They go to sleep, but there's no day-night cycle. So you can't visually see it unless you actually, like, scroll down and see them sleeping right there. There he is, right? That's why they're not collecting the linen yet. Now he's just waking up, so he's gonna go run along to... Where's he going? What? Oh, they gotta go here. So, okay, we can do that. So we just extend the road around here. Okay. 
So that speeds it up. I can't... Can you can you clear trees? You can't cut down trees. Okay. I assume they're a resource. So these, these giant spools? Is that... Yeah, that's the correct word, right? Spools? So then we'll create clothes. How does this well work? What was I looking at just now? So there's a bucket. Which I use to fill the pots. I'm not sure what I was looking at just now. Yeah, need a second well? Probably. So let's go ahead and build another well, which should be infrastructure well. You can just pop one right there. Because water should keep shacks at medium huts. No, no, at small huts. The meats give them medium hut. Right, that should cover the water supply. Meat is stocked up. This granary is so stronghold. <laughs> Governor, the first of our large huts has been built. Only four more to go. Okay, great. So they got some clothes. So now we can actually look inside their house and see. They got meat, they got water, they got clothes. It's nice that it is visually represented. Look at that. It's all there. I, I always very much appreciate when data is actually visually represented. And that seems to be a concept for this game, considering the UI trying to remove as much text as possible. Right? Like, there, there's almost no text on this window. Right? So it seemed to be a concept for the whole game to be like, okay, we're going to reduce text. You should be able to tell everything at a glance. That's why when you zoom in, it reveals the house. So you can actually see what resources are in the house. And you can, I think you can see... I'm not sure if the quantity of the resources... Yeah, the quantity of the resources changes. See, here there's three meat. Here there's only two meat because the meat is slightly lower. Three meat means it's full. You know, this one's two meat because it's not full. This one's three meat because it's full. So you can actually tell not just the type of resources, but the quantity of the resources. See, there's one water pot. There's three water pots. So everything is visually represented, and that's actually impressive. So here's one water pot. I see he put in, and more water pots went up. I was not expecting that level of graphical that's it. representation. The settlement now has five large huts. This small village has indeed come a long way since first we arrived here. Nice. So now we just need the stone. We need... We keep needing more stone. I think I should just build another stone collector. Just have it there. And then maybe we can... Extend some roads out. Maybe that'll speed up stone collecting, right? Good. They said stone isn't going to last forever, but we've been on this map for quite a while. <laughs> it seems like we've barely made a dent. Look at that. That, that looks nice. We've got the Morrowind-style fog here. <laughs> so things just unrender, and then there's water, I think that is. This is Morrowind style view distance. Oh, that's not water. That's like a distant mountain. <laughs> that's the skybox. This is the skybox here we're looking at. Interesting. This texture is actually kind of high res. Like if you zoom right into it, it's actually still okay. Look at our little village. It's nice, right? Picturesque. What is this? This is Civ City Rome, which released a few months before Caesar 4. And this was developed by Firefly Studios and Firaxis. 
Firefly, the creators of Stronghold, Firaxis, the creators of uh, Civilization. Um, and this game is heavily influenced by both of those series. Um, like, first of all, it tells you to cite things, like, cite your granary. <laughs> and there's direct references to Civilization the video game. One line was actually, houses are to civ city as cities are to civilization. And that was one of the most confusing sentences I've ever heard because it was referencing civilization, the game, when it didn't sound like that because no one ever tutorializes anything like that. Because that would be like saying pylons in Starcraft are like farms in Warcraft. And it's like, yeah, maybe I played Warcraft, but not necessarily so. I don't know what... What? <laughs> like, your tutorial relies on another game's tutorial. That's very strange. <laughs> right? And that's why I was confused at first when I first launched this game, because there's a Civilopedia. And I'm like, wait, how is there a Civilopedia? This is not a civilization game, but it's made by Firaxis, so they can use the word Civilopedia. Governor, your mission is a success. Nice. So, there's some very jank design, which is typical of 2006, but then there are also very bizarre decisions because of who made this game and the context of them making this game. Like, Firaxis is no stranger to popping into other genres. Firaxis worked with Will Wright on Sim Golf. Right? Firaxis liked to dabble in other genres with other developers, right? Firaxis joined up with The Sims and made Sim Golf. Firaxis joins up with Firefly and makes Civ City Roam. It's a thing Firaxis did, right? And it made for very interesting games. Some of them very good. Sim Golf's actually still a really good game. But also decisions that just don't happen in the rest of game de development. <laughs> right? <laughs> These decisions just don't get made in other games because they, they've they never built in the context of Firaxis teaming up with developers of entirely other series. <laughs> New assignment. Your mission is a success. It's a best Hail, friend. Hail, citizen. I am pleased with this town you have founded. May it serve our capital well. My only regret is that I cannot keep you there to guide its progress further. I have urgent need of your skills elsewhere. You and your servant are to gather your belongings and to head north to Capena at the earliest opportunity. <laughs> this guy's accent. Um, so Firefly devs are British, right? They're, they're actually based in London right now. I don't know where they were based back then, but they're British. Um... Uh, Firaxis, being Sid Meier, is American, right? I think I got that right. Uh, so we finished Lavinium, a peaceful mission. Now we have Capena, another peaceful mission. Hail, citizen. Most of Rome's olive oil flows from Capena. That is, it used to. The town was recently hit badly by disease. Many have died and many more are still very sick there. This has allowed the summer fires to burn out of control, badly damaging the town and destroying the oil stocks. Rebuild this little town and replenish our oil supplies. This is his face. Hail, citizen. Most of Rome's olive oil flows from Capena. I feel like your face needs to be huge. Who am I? I'm Civ City's briefing menu. Cosplay. <laughs> stiff upper lip, stiff lower lip, stiff eyebrows, just just stiff in general. <laughs> it's 
Acquire 10 olive oil, get five small hovels. Nice. Uh, so olive farms, olive presses, fire watch, uh, wood camp. Are these buttons? Oh, these are actually buttons. Boatyard small. Oh, okay. This is this is this is a whole on oh, civilopedia. Wood camp, carpenter shop, small temples. Great. Uh, hints and tips. Place fire watches in strategic locations. Placing wells close to your fire watches improves the fireman's efficiency. Uh, as well as introducing tunic production in the city, you'll need to provide olive oil. Uh huh. If happiness is falling, you could increase wages to remedy the situation. Keep an eye on cash flow. If houses are not upgrading, make sure they're in range of necessary shops. Great. So this is... It's given us a whole different city. Looking at the map, still very tiny. Is this the entrance flag? Is that from Caesar 3? Is there an exit flag? Oh well. So we've got firewood. It, it told I can us to get build almost anywhere I want by road. That's great. It told us to build fire watches, but they're already there, and there are wells next to them. So that's fine. We've got house, house. All these people. Okay, so this is the vagrants are shown right here. The entertainment here is rubbish. I could sing if you like. What is that voice? What? Event has happened. Governor, there are fires starting in the city. <gasps> it's like Sim Park style fires. Guys. The city burns. There's no sound of fire. That's that's from me. I I, I have sound of fire. It's like Sim Park fires. It just spreads in rectangles. <laughs> okay, so the fire watches are coming out here to, to put that out. So there are disasters. I thought fires would break out in the buildings. No, they're natural fires. They're natural disasters. It's, it's kind of interesting that that's how they went about it. So first of all, we need more water here. Then Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. So provide more water here. This is our granary. What are these? These are olive farms. This is our warehouse. Okay, so we have two butchers over there. I feel like we might need two more butchers. We could do with a road right here to speed that up. And just in case, road around the back there. Uh, I'm going to extend a road, a couple of roads out this way, so there will be faster access to that fire. <laughs> Very strange thing to say. Uh, these houses should upgrade. Um, commerce. Uh, no, farms. Other farms, flax farms. So we need to throw down... Wait, so they collect from the house. Where's our warehouse? There. So we want to have the flax farm there. And then tunic shops. Nearby, like that. Then I don't know exactly where... We need to connect to, but this should cover most things. Angled road like that. Nice. So that's gonna get clothing in. Okay. The fire has subsided. Path to the fire is called metal band. <laughs> yeah. The grass was on fire. It, it's a natural fire. So it, it makes sense. It, it's a thing. So that's fine. Uh, so we're just stocking up olive oil. We need the five hovels. Okay. Two loans available. I don't know how you take more loans. I guess from the finances, profit and loss for last year, this year. You can go back many years. I don't know how you take a loan. Oh, when you, I suppose when you just run out. Loans are rescue funds. Okay, understood. 
Uh, so what have I not built? Olive. No, we have olive. I think they gave us olive presses, right? I can smell smoke. I hope the fire isn't coming this way. Yeah, there's two olive presses. There's a bunch of stone here, but I don't think... Oh, we should get... We should get some stone camps. Because we don't have any stone camps, right? Okay. Um, we have plenty of vagrants, so we can go to security. Should probably preemptively throw down a couple watchtowers, right? This watchtower will block the view of the firewatch. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. And I just want to make sure nothing... shows up and tries to kill us. So if I do this... We should be fully protected. Yep, you can see the vagrants there. Um, and then I probably want to throw down another... one more firewatch. Can it fit here? It can fit here. It can fit here, fit... So here's something that's kind of confusing. Oh, they need access to the ladder, I see. Okay, so we can have another firewatch here near that well. And that should be plenty of security. So these houses... Olive oil stored in the granary? Those are olives. Wait up. Olive press produces olive oil. So we have olive presses right now. Where are they going? We have two granaries. What What is this number here? Oh, this one's storing olives. This one's storing... No. What? What is this number right here? Why does this one have olives and this one has meat? Advanced storage options. I know it's how much they have, but... Oh, this is in the whole city. This is what's inside this one. Okay. <laughs> Interesting UI decisions. What's this button? Transport storage options. Oh, so you can send goods manually like that. Okay. So in the warehouse here, that's where the olive oil is stored. So marble, stone, fur, wood. <laughs> okay, the wood looks like fur. Linen, glass, glassware. Let's try guess. What's this next one on the left of glassware? Paint or dye? But it's white. You wouldn't represent paint or dye with something white. What? I actually have no idea what that is. Statues, salt, socks, cotton. Let's find out if anyone's right. Togas! <laughs> Togas is a resource! <laughs> Cotton's the closest answer. Wacker, congratulations. Copernicus, thank you so much. Uh, Togas is a resource. Look, okay, right here be behind me, there's a colored looking toga. What is that called? Dress. A colored toga is a dress. Okay, so I assume this is swords. Yeah, this is spears. Javelins, okay. What's on top of this one? What are those three... Oh, sorry, I'm blocking. No, I showed this one. What, what are these? Any guesses what these are? Scrolls, fur. What is it? Iron? Maybe it's iron. That's a good guess. Sacks of wheat? Maybe. All of Rome's oil is safely stored in the warehouses. Furniture? I don't know what kind of furniture that is. So this, we've established this game likes to use visual communication, but their icon design... Governor, 
We have very little money left. Leave some to be desired. Let's find out what it is. It's iron! Whoever guessed iron, congratulations. Sikwer uh, Irovzisk. Aldemolfar. It's iron. <laughs> Next one. There's this sack on the left. What is this? <laughs> this is so interesting. What? What is that? It's like a... It looks like a sack. Flour? Wheat? Rice? I mean, maybe salt. Flour! It's flour! Okay, now on the left of this, it looks like... Maybe... Maybe it's like the togas. There's the toga and then there's a dress. So we have... We know we've got normal clothes over there. Maybe this is just... Governor, dress. we have like, very little money left. No, that's wheat! That's wheat! <laughs> it looks like a dress! It's wheat. Flowers. So we know flowers are from the the panel, the information panel, that the flowers are aesthetic. Good news, Governor. The Senate has granted us a loan. 20,000? Jeez. We're still playing on very hard, right? So those flowers, like, see those yellow flowers? The confusing thing is, they're the same yellow flowers as here, which is splendor. Which is gardens, fountains, statues, cleanliness of streets, wonder and, and, and research. City happiness is falling. <laughs> they, it rains. It's a terrible day for rain. So, what are the flowers here in this context? They're just flowers. <laughs> They're just flowers. <laughs> it's not perfumes. It's not decorations or anything. It, it's just flowers. Now I assume this is linen recliners. I thought I had that one. No, this one's linen, right? Recliners. <laughs> what are these resources? <laughs> it says recliners. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who? What was the decision-making process on the resources here? <laughs> There's a whole resource for recliners. Ah, uh, yes, the Romans, famed for their reclining. <laughs> also, just a note. The order of these resources listed here is weird. Okay, last one here. I, okay, I just have no idea what that is. Beds. Okay, so it, the order that it's being presented here is tunics, beds, recliners, flowers, wheat, flour, iron, swords, dress. That's the first row. Second row is olive oil, togas, Glassware, linen, wood, stone, javelins, and marble. Which is behind me. Apologies. So, why is stone not next to marble? Why are javelins not directly next to swords? Iron being here and then javelin swords, that sort of makes sense in these three here. But then dresses are over here and togas are over there. Right? Wood is here. Wood's right here. But I assume what we use wood for, which is the recliners and the beds, are over there. The linen is here, used for making clothes. But the tunics are here, the togas are here, and the dresses are here. <laughs> what? Why, why are they arranged such? It doesn't feel like it's from poor things to luxury things, because the dress is here. And tunics are here, but then glassware is here in the middle. It doesn't feel like they're arranged from like raw materials to finished materials because linen's here, tunics are there, togas are there. You know, <laughs> it's stone and marble are separated. What makes sense is iron is next to javelins and swords, but iron is also next to flour, but not flowers. 
Keep in mind, it's flower and flowers. Fla. <laughs> flower and flowers. Okay. Governor, uh, there are fires starting in the city. It just burned down. The fires are like... One of the gods just slashes the ground. Okay, well, there's... Watchtower right there. Okay, let, let, let's... Okay, I'm just trying to understand this game. What have we not built? A small garden. Oh, if you rotate the decorations, they change color. Nice. Fire should be put out soon. Come on. Nice. So we're gonna have to rebuild that flax farm. Can I rebuild it on the ruins? No. Can I clear the ruins? What? W why? Why is there a timer to delete something? It gives you time to cancel in case you misclick. How do you cancel? Oh! Oh! So it's a solution to misclicking in the impressions games. But why not just have an undo button? Which is what the impressions games had. Nice feature for fast clickers. I suppose, yes, it's just... <laughs> to not be like the Impressions games. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes you go back into game dev days and it's like, it's just... It is bizarre. You have a small hovel. Which needs access to religion and a carpenter's shop. Okay, we're just missing some tunics, I think. Right? Oh, this house is not in range of this granary. Which is where all the meat is. So wait, this has transport options. Is this a one-time thing or... Send goods above 10. Send goods above 20 to... How do you... I assume this is saying that it, it is. Click on the warehouse you wish to send the excess goods to. Okay. Need shops close to houses? Well, the shops need... Wait. Are these shops or... Oh, these are shops. They're not workshops. I was thinking workshop. They're, they're shops. These are markets. Can houses take from warehouses? They're both, yeah, so, okay, they're both. Which... Uh, means these should be like... Here. And then we want to have... Maybe an olive A message there. from Julius Caesar. It is rare these days to find such an exciting city as yours in the Empire. 
You and your citizens will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you? What? What did I do? <laughs> Meme of boss shaking hand. <laughs> it's rare to find a city <laughs> as exciting as yours. <laughs> Me, who's been criticizing the UI. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> City happiness is rising. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Why? Why is Caesar happy with me? I, I built some shops. Okay, well, it looks like we've got tons of vagrants. Um... But I don't... There's nothing else I can build. Governor, your mission is a success. Governor, we now have five small hovels and this town is back on its feet again. Well, there's a little programming insight into how they program this game. The order of priority is... We reach the... The target goal which is getting the five houses. It then plays the victory message, and then it plays the we have the five houses voice line. <laughs> so it's like, you get the houses, triggers victory, plays the victory voice line, plays the <laughs> house voice line. <laughs> Why that the house voice line is not after the getting the five houses, I don't know. <laughs> We won! Uh, great. <laughs> Your mission is a success. If else coding, right? It's just... S someone didn't refine the order of... the order queue. Because <laughs> it doesn't... one doesn't cancel the other, so it, it, there's a queue of events happening. And it's just how the events are ordered is a bit weird when two things happen at the same time. Because when a thing happens, multiple things are put in the order queue. It's just strange when they're they're shuffled together. <laughs> Instead of these things first, these things second. Like this set of stuff, this set of stuff. It's shuffled together. <laughs> Next mission. Hail, Quaestor. You do well and Rome smiles. Oh, no. Zooming in. Cance any key cancels anything. Oh, no. Now I have to read it. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have to read this. It's okay, we, we, we've got this, we've got this. <clears throat> Hail, Quaestor, you do well, and Rome smiles upon you, honoring you with this high rank and title. I would like you to stay on in Capina for a while. The people here are scared and believe their illness brought on by evil spirits. You must show that Roman gods are superior. Erect some temples and encourage the locals to marry. This town is important to Rome. Let's put some backbone into it. What? Is that? <laughs> what? It's a very strange introduction. Wedding ceremonies held 0 out of 3. Housing reached medium hovels 5. Okay. Uh, lose condition is a loan of 20,000. Two loans available. Okay. Hints and tips. Build temples. So citizens living in small hovels can marry. Citizens actually have to marry in this game. So this is kind of a Children of the Nile level simulation on the, the, the citizens, which is actually cool. That's the best thing about Children of the Nile. Start wood production close to the trees to provide timber and build carpenter's shops for beds. Building temples to different gods will increase your civilization rating, increasing your civilization. They keep capitalizing civilization. Now, this is civilization uppercase C rating. This is not referring to the game, civilization. This is referring to a rating inside of this game. But they've capitalized the C, which makes it very confusing. 
Are we playing on easy? Why does it reset? Oh, play on hard. There we go. Okay. Researching tool making. Researching tool. Oh, tool making. Researching tool making and religion will help in this mission. <laughs> if you are running low on money, build more houses and researching taxation will increase your city's tax income. Okay, so we're getting research and religion in this one. Okay. Civiliz civilization is capped because it's the start of the sentence? No, it says increasing your civilization rating. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Increasing your is over here. <laughs> I know, easy to miss, right? Not your fault. <laughs> yeah, this game is very charming despite its flaws. And in 2006, this would have actually been very good. Also, animations top notch. This increasing your should just be moved to the next line. <laughs> I like how this is exclamation. <laughs> so, citizens living in small hovels can marry, express happiness. <laughs> Okay, so our loan from last time is not here. So we want wood camps near wood. I guess here. Let's get two Governor, wood camps. Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. Then we want bed shops. Oh, this is huge. In range of all these houses. If Some wood is buildings... available... This carpenter will create beds and sell them directly to our citizens. Some buildings overlap onto the street like that. Nice. Okay. So these houses need beds and religion. So religion, we've got Mercury, Diana, and Mithras. It's always interesting trying to figure out which gods a Roman city builder is going to have, right? There has to be a whole decision-making project. So Jupiter is almost always in every game, right? Mercury is pretty common. Diana and Mithras? Haven't seen them before. Mercury, the messenger. Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Excellent, Governor. This temple will only help our houses to grow, but its effect on the town's overall morale is also not to be ignored. Oh, you get to Governor, see inside. Our city granaries are now empty. City happiness is falling. Okay, we need more food. So, food, we've only got goat farms. I can squeeze one there. Let's just increase goat farm. And get more butchers. So commerce. Can I fit a butcher's there? Yes. So surplus will just go around. Okay. So I could build a butcher's there, but that wait, that's blocking the road. It's so strange. Uh, three seconds to <laughs> demolish something. Okay. Let's rebuild that road. Okay, let's just do that. And place the butchers there. Okay, good. Nice. I assume this is... Do we have workers? Governor, plenty of vagrants. food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I can support another butchers. Just, yeah, there we go. So these tunic shops seem full. The olive presses seem they full. They say in old Pompeii that Mount Vesuvius is smoking again. So resources in the city. Okay, meat's now coming back in. Nice. We're sending meat. A happy day indeed, Governor. Our town can celebrate its first marriage in the temple. These two just got married. I hear the emperor's wife bathes in ass's milk. I can't see inside this house <gasps> because they just got married. They don't let us see inside the house because they just got married. <laughs> what? What? Governor, A level of detail. Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. 
they block the see-through house mechanic when someone just gets married. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we we need to get the the furniture industry going because we need to build those giant red heart beds so these these people can woohoo. <laughs> Obviously, the animation is they just go in there and they stand still, right? <laughs> it's the same in The Sims. They go under the covers and they they're just there and then they distort for some limbs. <laughs> but <laughs> someone thought. They're like, okay, as soon as these two are married, they're going to walk back to their house and then we're going to... They could just get on with their lives, right? They don't need to imply anything. They're just like, okay, Governor, these two are married now. food levels in our get granaries are dangerously low. Right? They didn't have to block that at all. They can just walk back to their house and then get on with their lives. Right? No problem. But no. Someone was like, no, no, no. As soon as they get back, we know what they're doing. Make sure people can't see in the house. What do you mean we know what they're doing? We're making the game. We're not animating that scene. <laughs> no, no, no. We want to imply it. <laughs> we want to imply... Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Governor, <laughs> we have very little money left. Now this part, we know who designed these voice lines. This is Firefly. This is Firefly, 100%. <laughs> The people are <laughs> revolting, sire. Oh, happiness is at nine? Now it's minus two? Wait, 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 wages. Oh, we're almost broke? Okay, increase wages. Um, Hail, governor. What would you like to research next? Insufficient funds to start research. <laughs> I forgot about researching. We don't have enough money. Oh, there's a whole tech tree. Where's... It told us to research taxing. But I don't see... Oh, tax revenue. The mathematics is up 10... Okay. Governor, food levels in a... Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Okay. To make more money, we need to build more houses. Good news, Governor. The Senate has granted us a loan. Governor, there are fires starting in the city. Okay, this game's actually starting to get hard. <laughs> There's no trade in this game? Can I not ex- is everything just tax related? Governor, our city granaries are now empty. I built so much more food production. How are the granaries empty? Okay. <laughs> There is trade, but you don't have access to it yet. Okay, fine. Uh, we have way too many people in the city. Where, like, I have... I, before I built these houses, I had, like, five houses. Why Why are there so many peop people in the city? They're just showing up, even though there's no housing. And there's 1,800 vagrants, which means they're unemployed. How do I get people to stop Governor, showing up? food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. People are really unhappy. I think I, I just gotta build a massive housing district here. Ah, Governor, our first medium hovel. This town has never looked so grand. Let's just get a whole bunch of houses so they can all live there. Make sure they have sources Governor, of water. We have very little money left. Yep. And then we can throw down because shops go and get resources. So I guess we throw down. Good news, Governor. The Senate has granted us a loan. Just throw shops down this way. They'll go get the resources, I guess. 
Okay, that made some people happy, and our population is going down for some reason. Uh, in terms of money... Wage bill, trade, building, research, money out, tax revenue. How do you even make enough money? Tax revenue is like a third. I'll drop wages. We can't increase taxes. You have to do the research to increase taxes. Governor, but that's only 10%. Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. City happiness is rising. <laughs> the city's a mess. Most of this city was not built by me. Um, I think one more loan and we Mathematics we lose, right? has been researched. Okay. It's just... I didn't realize our population shot up to 7,000. Three thousand eight hundred unhoused citizens. Like I've built all of these shacks. The power of Carthage was always based on its fleet. That's what my old dad used to tell me. Like this map isn't that big. How are we supposed to house seven thousand people? Wedding ceremonies held. Medium hovel, one out of five. So we we got a medium Merchants hovel. will be happy. Mercury is well served. No, I want to click on that house. This is the medium hovel. Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, we have very little money left. Okay, I might I might lose this one. <laughs> we might have to restart. Too many butchers, but we... We do pretty well worshipping the gods in these parts. I think we should honor a few more, though. No, we do pretty well worshipping the gods in these parts. I think we should honor a few more, though. Right, because people live in houses and need to go work in places, so there's this whole commute thing. Okay, okay, we might have to restart this one. Too many butchers, watchtowers are completely unneeded. Well, the watchtowers... I know they're unneeded, but what's the harm of having them? Because we have unemployment. Governor, your mission is a failure. Grave tidings, Governor. The Senate has refused to grant our city a loan. We are bankrupt. You lose. You lose. Failure. Failed. Okay. Mission failed. Did you get the message yet? You have lost. <laughs> Does it restart the whole thing? Hail, citizen. Most of Rome's olive oil flows from Capena. Hold on. Is there an... I, I activated autosaves. What? Capina Mission 2. Wait, no. Yes. Yes? Hail, Governor. Yes. What would you like to research next? Autosaves. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we just need so many more houses than you expect, right? So let's go... They'll make unemployment worse. Why, why do watchtowers make unemployment worse? How does how does that work out? So I want these houses to be... Oh, that's so annoying. I guess I just demolished that because that's in the way. See, the, the problem with that is I can't click away for three seconds. So let's get house, 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 house. So these are all in range of that warehouse and granary. Then we can have houses here in range of that warehouse and granary. And then a house here. Governor! Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Okay, then we want to boost food production. So let's throw down... I guess I just have another production facility like Governor, here. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. So we do that Governor, and then... Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. 
we throw down like two shops like that. Connect things up. Because walking speed is actually insanely important. Okay, so we're upping our... So it gave us... It started us with four butchers to one farm. So I'm assuming that's correct. So we can have two more here. Right, and they're in range of the houses. Mathematics Governor, is coming on down. food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Okay. Uh, they give jobs. So those watchers give jobs. Unemployment in Civ City Rome is a penalty based on city size. You think you can get rid of the building? Mathematics workers? has been researched. So by having these buildings, they create jobs. You can't double click to instant destroy. So having these things create jobs, which attracts people. Governor, our city granaries are now I empty. I guess. 30% of your total working population are vagrants who will always remain unemployed. Wait, 30% is consistently vagrants? Like that's... Like this is messed up a bit because of the widescreen, but... It is a very confusing system. Olive. Services. These cost two fifty each. I guess we should have one of each, right? Spread out so we get plenty of coverage. Right? Okay, uh, then we need more water because we built a lot more houses. So that's the then water well, water well. So that should cover the houses. Three wedding ceremonies held immediately. Is it one wedding per <laughs> per temple? And now we just need the houses. We built a temple last time and we got one wedding and then that was it. So now we just need the medium hovels, which means they're getting the Governor, access to religion. Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. We need more clothes. So let's boost our let's throw down. A flax farm and boost up tunic shops. Make sure a road can get down here. Okay, speed that along. Um, Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Olive oil. Olive press, olive press. Uh, how many olive presses do we have? We have one, two... The priests at the Temple of Diana. Now, three. they're making a denarii or two these days. Okay, so I threw down two more olive presses. So we have a total of five olive presses to two olive farms. Bye -bye. Uh, that should help keep things going. And then we just need to do um, the carpenter's shop. Is there a front door for Governor, this thing? Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. A fire has broken out. Okay. Governor, there are fires starting in the city. Oh, it doesn't render the fire if you're... <laughs> I assume we should be able to cover that. Um, and then we go to raw materials, lumber camp. Maybe we just need one of these? I don't know. One lumber camp to... How many shops? 
But they're walking this way. So if they're going to use that path, we should actually, like, speed this along. Okay. More Hail, research. Governor. What would you like to research next? Plus 10 temporary boost. Research 10% faster. Butcher, butchers yield 50% more meat. Wood output increased. Roads upgrade to smooth roads 10% quicker. Oh, these are... That's Research insane. Started. 50% more meat? I thought the researchers would be like 10%, 5%, maybe 20%, 25%. 50% more meat out of butchers? And look how quick it researches. <laughs> Research is so powerful. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I started paying attention and our population's at 7,000 and happiness is at 98 and we're not broke and we've already met one of our goals. So I, I just had to pay attention. <laughs> um, let's just throw down another wood camp. This carpenter shop should hold everything, um, but I don't know if we're gonna need another one. I don't know why these buildings don't have access to religion. Oh, did I leave the stove on? Do you have stoves? What is this? What? What is that? <laughs> it's just a giant lasagna. It's like a Minecraft house. You just have lava edge lighting. <laughs> Did I leave Animal the stove husbandry on? has been researched. Uh, Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, mm -hmm. our city granaries are now empty. Hail, okay. Governor. What would you like to research next? All farm outputs increased. Research started. Bait ziti. Bathtub of pizza. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th this... I'm starting to get the sense of this game. And it really is a Firefly city builder. It, it feels like Stronghold, but it's city building. With weird civilization Governor, references. at last. Food is beginning to arrive in our granaries. That's why there's a tech tree. Because of Firaxis. There's a tech tree because of Firaxis. Oh, so I just realized the guy who gives our briefing, mission briefings, he looks a bit like Sid Meier, doesn't he? Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Is Governor, it's... our city granaries are now empty. Is it Sid Meier? Is the guy who gives our instructions Sid Meier? I just realized. Maybe it is. <laughs> Sid Meier liked putting his face in the games. <laughs> Wait, is the guy who gives our briefings Sid Meier? Finally, place some basic housing. The city happiness indicator is shown towards this. the right of the menu bar. It tells you if people are coming to... New arrivals begin as as city happiness. New arrivals, begin, new as arrivals begin as vagrants and congregate at the town center until they find work. As city happiness is such a key indicator to your city's health, you need to know what is affecting it. To do this, click on the report scroll, then on the happiness tab. Okay, you can see all the factors. Houses yes. grow in stature as you fulfill the name. Yep. Clicking on a house brings up its yep. name. One point to remember is that each house only has a limited range. Its yep. citizens. Remember, the better the house, the higher the tax revenue it produces. Houses are able to meet their needs as you, an enlightened governor, will probably have allowed their occupants some time off from their work. Okay. Clicking on a person will reveal their work time free time indicator. The okay. red... Your overall work time ratio can be set in the city happiness report screen. Setting oh, okay. work, the laurel wreath on the left hand side of the menu bar shows your city's current civilization rating. This is a measure of how civilized your city is and also how Rome judges your city. 
Going to the report screen will show you that it is calculated from four component parts. Uh, As your city population rises, so does the bar that Rome expects your city to reach. If your city rating does not measure up to this bar, you will... Okay, While yes. your city can in fact manage without roads, no real Roman city planner would... Placing roads allows your people to travel around. Later on, you can also research technologies to... It costs money, denarii being the currency of Romans, to construct new buildings in your city, and, in addition to... Your first source of income will usually be from your houses and improving their quality to increase your tax revenue. The other main source of income is through trade receipts. Setting up. Clicking on the Empire button in the top right brings up a map of the region. From here, you can see... Name. Click on a town to see what it trades before deciding to pay to open a trade route. You can also send your troops here from the city, sending them out to... In Finally, the number in the centre of the menu bar is your Empire points. These are awarded for opening trade routes, building roads, and empire points can be lost or gained by fulfilling or failing a request for goods from the research is available in most missions if it is clicking on the research button in the center of the menu bar there are many research trees and technologies to explore finally but then Each he just kept providing going. a unique research takes quite some time to complete and once finished governor your mission <laughs> is a success <laughs> that from Caesar 2 finally continued <laughs> no no Caesar 2 actually had a, a panel which said enough talk and then it was a wall of text and then you clicked next and then it was enough talk in brackets cunt <laughs> same thing here finally the empire points is this by the way, also the technology is... Wait, we already talked about technology. Why? Wait, you said finally. Come on. <laughs> Enough talk, cunt. <laughs> that, that was legendary from, from Caesar 2. Mm. <laughs> Enough talk, cunt. Uh, new assignment. Yes. Hail, Quaestor. Is that Sid, is that Sid Meier? Is thriving. And I have a list as long as my arm of towns like it that I would dearly love to send you to. News of your successes has predictably spread, however, and it seems some big shot senator has different plans for you. I will leave you with a word of advice, my friend. This senator that you will soon meet will offer you richer prizes than I ever could hold up to you. But such opportunities are rarely without their drawbacks. And senators, in my experience, are rarely to be trusted. His face is weirdly HD. And that's not Sid Meier, no. <clears throat> no, no, it's enough, comma, talk. Uh, so we've done Lavinium, we've done Capina, and now it's Tarentum, a city name we recognize. Hail, K-Star! What an honor it is to finally meet the prodigy that has the recliners of Rome gossiping. My name is Aurelius Crassus, and I'm here to help you. Let me explain my proposition. If you are to advance further in Rome, then you must set your sights higher than the mines and towns you have been cultivating so successfully. You need a greater ambition, and I have the very thing you need. The founding of a new city itself. Tarentum, the jewel in Italy's heel. Its stony soil and baking sun make it a perfect spot for vines. And as Rome grows, so does its thirst for wine. I want you to go there, find the perfect site for our new city, and make enough wine to drown the whole of Rome. I have arranged for my bank to credit you with a sizable sum of money. Make your plans and leave this year. 
I have every faith that neither of us will be disappointed. <laughs> what? He also said Italy. Italy doesn't exist. Right? It wasn't called Italy? Yeah, I mean, th there's his script. This, this is what he read. It says that, the jewel in Italy's heel. Was, was it, was it, was a region called Italy? Italia, maybe? Mm. Housing reach, large hovel, good sold, sold, okay. Stone, good sold wine, okay. Loan, 750 denarii, two loans available, okay. Grape farms, probably function as a mill, takes wheat, uh, grinds it into flour for bakeries, bakeries make bread from wheat, okay. Trade market, okay, this works like Caesar 4, I think. Taverna, cistern, fresh water to house within a certain range. Occupants no longer have to fetch water, right? And aqueducts, yes. Musician schools, piazzas, bathhouses, great. Hints and tips, a trade route to Rome is already open on the region map. Click on Rome to discover what it will trade with you. Concentrate initially on storing and then selling either wine or stone to Rome to bring in additional income. You'll need to import wheat from Rome to make bread for your large hovels. Land trade can be further sped up by researching up to astronomy. Click on the show all available research button in the research screen to see how to research astronomy. Great. Research takes quite some time to complete. And once finished, you'll be prompted to choose another technology. It's governor, continuing. <laughs> food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Hail, Governor. Where shall we site our new town center? <laughs> the tutorial was left open. Okay. Uh, so we have some stone there. Uh, wood is scattered around. Um, oh, wood's over here. Uh, looking at resources. Uh, so wood, stone. So we want to be building somewhere in the middle here. Uh, the waves actually look not bad. Waves in games from around 20 years ago tended to be pretty bad. Also, I keep pausing the game, but it keeps unpausing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so I guess, yeah, I got it. Town center, right Governor, here. Governor, immigrants are arriving in the city. Houses. So we want to, let's try keep things a little bit more organized. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Nice and compact. A section of 10 houses. So infrastructure. So we don't have cisterns yet, right? No. So let's do well, uh, yeah, stick a well there, stick a well there, uh, let's get food going, goat farm, I guess we can just, we'll try keep things organized, uh, goat farm, then butcher shops, which we want to be near these houses, I guess. So I'll do, yeah, I'll spread them out like this. So the shops go around the back. Uh, roads to speed things up. Okay. Nice little start. Uh, we want to go to the Empire map. All right. That's our fair city. That's Rome. They buy 20 wine, 10 stone, and they sell wheat. 21,000 population. Is that accurate, by the way? Do we have a year? 275 BC. What was the population of Rome? Was it about 20,000? <laughs> Just curious. Uh, we also want to sell grapes, I think. So let's... Can I just produce grapes on the beach? 
That doesn't make much sense, but... Why is it red, then it's purple, then it's clear? What does purple mean? I think we can produce grapes down here. Let's go all in on, on wine. Wine production requires both grape farms and wineries to be constructed in the city. Wineries. So I'll just have the wineries up here. Governor, the lack of a granary in our city means we cannot feed our citizens. Governor, Good. some of our citizens wish to deliver goods to a granary, but we have none built in the city. Good point. Good point. Uh, pop a granary there. It's a little out of range, but should be fine. Put a warehouse right back here. Okay, so food can come in. What did I build here? Is that messed up? No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, no Hail, research. Governor. What would you like to research next? Taxes first, always. Now, let's keep going. We'll have this road extend down. This house being here doesn't make sense, but sure, it looks nice. <laughs> okay, so not a terrible start. Happiness is still fine. These shacks are still unoccupied, so we can see if these Governor, shacks are fine. Governor, food That's... levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Okay, we should probably prepare. So we have zero vagrants, okay. Unhoused citizens, I don't know why. Maybe it takes a while before citizens are housed. Governor, there are fires starting in the city. Okay. Uh, services, security, security. Forgot about that. Come on, fireman. Which also means I'm going to need one down here. Yeah, what does... So purple means Governor, we can't build. citizens are rioting in the city. Why? why? Why are citizens rioting? Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Enemies are attacking our buildings. What? Why? Why? Happiness is 100. Why are people rioting? Uh... Security. Watchtower? W why Governor, are people rioting? the lack of a granary in our city means we cannot feed our citizens. Governor, some of our citizens wish to deliver goods to a granary, but we have none built in the city. Delete. Come on. <laughs> I deleted a house. Because it doesn't highlight what you're building. Okay. Um, place the shacks. Place the shacks. Replace the shacks. I don't know why people are rioting. Happiness was fine at almost 100. There's still a fire going. I don't know why this fire watch is not going. Maybe I, I'll just build another one. Yep. Sure. I'll give... Mathematics has been researched. Okay. Hail, Governor. What would uh, you like to research next? And we'll have research for food. Started. Can can we? Can we? You know what? I'm just gonna stick the granary back here. That kind of makes sense. Because they come from the butchers anyway. Okay, uh, we lost a butcher. Okay, let's replace butcher. 
Okay. It looks like there's plenty of food in the butcher's shops. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why? Why was there a riot? Turned out nice today. Uh, I need a warehouse here. Oh wait, I need a trade market. That's what I need here. Governor, our new trade market is ready. You should now choose what commodity we wish to trade here. Trade amount per trip, maximum. Sell. Yes, is that correct? I assume that's correct. Animal husbandry has been researched. Okay, good. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Research 10% faster. All farm outputs increased by 10%. Research 10% research faster. Started. Do that now. It goes fast. It's cheap. All right. I think we stabilized a little bit. Granary's filling with food. That's good to see. I assume, yeah, that warehouse is too far. This trade market... Do we need a warehouse here? For... How do I control this? Uh, transport storage options, advanced storage options. Allow goods to be removed. Accept goods type. I don't want to accept anything here except for wine. Nope. Okay. Just clicked. Where's wine? Wait, is wine not sto is wine stored in a granary? What does wine look like? Wine stored in a granary. Okay. <laughs> wine stored in a granary. No, 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 no. I'm trying to destroy that road. The alphabet okay. has been researched. The alphabet has been researched. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Faster research roads. started. That's going to be good. So we need a granary here. Just for wine. Right? Oh, that toggles all. Okay, so we've got a place to store wine. It says selling this good. Do we not have a road? Oh, let's not do that. Cost to build road. 8,000. Cancel. 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 We have no empire points. Okay. I don't know if I'm selling... ...goods. These wineries have wine in them. There's no wine in the granary, so maybe we need to get these wineries full first and then when the wineries are full, they'll put it into the granary and then we'll have a surplus that we can sell. I think that's how that works. Yeah, this is the game speed. This is the slowest, okay. All right, uh, happiness is good, population's gone up, food supply looks good. These houses need tunics next, um, so let's work on that. We'll need a flax farm. We can stick that like here. Tunic shops. Four of those. Uh, 
Okay. Evolving the houses will get us things. Engineering's finishing, so that's faster roads. So people should start walking faster on our roads soon. Engineering has been researched. And it changes the graphics as well. Okay. We're a bit short on cash right now. Um, city reports. Wages are 817. Tax revenues is 386. Um, I can probably drop wages because we have plenty of happiness. Um, just waiting on trade? No, no wine is coming in yet. Chippy dips, thank you so much. I could build more houses. I suppose, yes. Uh, yeah. These are in range of both the granary and the... I can't build that. Why not? The terrain will not allow us to site this structure here. Oh, terrain. Okay. So all the shops are here. So it should be fine if the houses are around the back here, right? So if I do this and get rid of that. Yeah. So that brings in a few more houses. Food supply looks okay. Wine is starting to store into the granary, so hopefully we can start selling some, yes? Yeah, the trade market now has wine. Now in Mark Anthony's day, of course, things would have been very different. Oh, we need to make sure grapes are not stored here. Grapes and wines are not going there. Just allow grapes... I suppose we can allow grapes to sit in here. Yeah, I think we're getting... It doesn't show how many grapes there are in the Whoa, wineries. Woe betide us! The gods must surely look down on our disrespectful city in despair. So wait. Trade amount per trip. That means if I set this to... 75, they won't show up until we have that much. Okay. Let's set it to five then. Governor, we have very little money left. Now this one's carrying 12. What? I suppose now we set it to 25. I mean, 25 still seems like a lot. Let's set it to 12. That makes sense, right? So, the trader now heads out on this mule train, carrying 12 wine, which I don't know how much value that is. They buy 20 wine a year. Does it show prices of things? City happiness is falling. Yeah, because we dropped wages. It's fine. It's fine. 20 is the price. Oh, 20 is the price, Governor, not the quantity. We have very little money left. I know, I know. Um, that's why we're not researching Hail, anything. Governor, what would you like to research next? Oh, roads become even faster. All build costs reduced by 10%. That's actually really good. Now, what are these guys waiting for? Tunics. I found a piece of ancient Etruscan pottery in my garden yesterday. I wonder if it's worth anything. Okay, so we're gonna get tunics in soon, which will evolve these houses, which means increased tax revenue. That is good. Uh, house citizen, unhoused citizen. Still so many unhoused citizens. Is it possible to house all your citizens in this? Yeah, mysticism is a meh Hail, tech. governor. What would you like to research next? 
Temple access quicker, boost to happiness, permanent, plus one permanent boost to city happiness. Governor, we have, research marriage. we have very little money left. But people can get married without researching marriage? <laughs> you want everyone to be housed? Really? How do you even fit that many houses? Hmm. You want everyone to be housed? Well, we're almost out of money. Does it show the trader? It does show the trader. So 12 selling. So this is the price, I guess. So 12 times 20 is how much money we'll get from that, which is not a huge amount, really. Good news, Governor. The Senate has granted us a loan. All right. So I guess we should focus on building shacks and well, more housing, right? This is a little awkward. Like, the amount of housing you build in this game throws me off. I guess we can build these houses here because the butcher's shops are right there. So we just want to... Governor, that. citizens are rioting in the city. Why? Why are they rioting? What what Enemies triggers are attacking the attacking our buildings? What triggers the riots? What was this? That was a shack. Not town center shacks. Okay, so we do have a watchtower, which doesn't cover everything, but... How... Do we need watchtowers to kill these guys? I think we do. But I can't build any watchtowers over here. I can build one there. Okay, fine. He just burnt our well. Goods have been sold by your traders in a distant city. Okay. Do we get the money immediately or does it take a bit before? This this guy's throwing rocks, but they can't reach. Now, both watchtowers are throwing rocks, but neither of them are hitting. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> City happiness is rising. What, what am I looking at? There's no prefix walking around. Okay. Uh, well, to keep evolving these houses, we need olive oil. We're getting the house rubble out. That that's not rubble, that's just a shack. I know it looks similar, but no, like these things show a range, but they actually can only shoot less than this range. Right? So one's hitting there, one's hitting here. This guy's perfectly out of range of both watchtowers. So I guess I get rid of this watchtower now. Because it didn't solve anything. Try and move a watchtower here. Maybe that will be able to hit him. Now that's on fire. And things burn down immediately. I can destroy the rubble. Okay, the guy died. Because he got in range. Rebuild the shack. Alright. Uh, we have three wells. These things just don't have enough water. 
Is there really not enough water? Let's throw down another well then. <laughs> another well then. Okay. So we sold some wine. Does it show 240? Not a lot. Let's set a trade amount per trip to 20. Make it a bit more worthwhile, 20 times 20. Yeah, we don't have reservoirs yet. We're supposed to sell a total of 60 wine. Sell a total of... 50 stone. And get 6 large hovels. So I think we should maybe get onto stone now. So if I go ahead and get... Two stone things, and then we put down a warehouse. Four stone. This is accepting nothing, but that's marble. Nope, nope. Stone. What does stone look like? Like that. Why does the mouse wheel sometimes work, but not other times? So that's stone. So we don't want stone coming into this one. So stone's gonna sit right there. So we're gonna start getting that stone in. Then I want to get another trade market, I guess. Sure. Governor, we have very little money left. Good news, Governor. The Senate has granted us a loan. Yeah. Sell 15 stone. How much sto does stone sell for? 10? So that would be 150. Yeah. 15 should come in relatively soon. Okay. Sure. <laughs> that works. All right. Maybe I will just okay. that. Okay. So we've got the stone trade route going. Stone comes in a little bit quicker because it doesn't need to be manufactured. Uh, I think we sent... Did we send another? Yeah, we did send another with 23. So this number here, this cell number is just when a trip triggers and then it carries as much as it can, right? So we could have multiple trade markets for a single good, I guess. Oh, this is already at eight. Maybe we trigger at 30 then, because that's actually going up pretty fast. Hey, old governor, research anything? what would you like to research next? No, I don't think so. This only costs 25, so... Plus 10 temporary happiness Research points. Research started. Sure. Uh, we don't really need it, but it's free and it unlocks further techs. Okay, so we need to sell 50 stone, 60 wine, then the large hovels. Okay, okay. Oh. Don't know if I'm cosplaying a Roman senator or a Gryffindor student. <laughs> this is my universal shawl. It fits everything. Ah, thanks for joining, Wacker. Where is the HUD? Where in the HUD is the research progress? This green bar up here. That's the research progress. Okay, so... For this year... Our tax revenue does surpass our wage bill, so that's good. So as long as we don't build anything, it's fine. Trade... The whole of land... It takes a, more than a year to trade. We had zero trade income last year. 
because it takes so long. Does it say how long this trip is? If I was to build a road. Has been researched. Wait, if I build a road, it will be 14.7 months of travel time? Is that both ways or one way? I assume both ways, because right now it's taking longer than a year to go both ways. So I assume if we build a road, it's slightly over year, a year for there and back. Right? We got eight stone really quickly, but then... I drop this to like 24. Trigger that. Okay. So we have no more loans available. So if we go into debt now, we insta lose. Yeah. To upgrade houses further, it looks like they've stabilized as l at large huts. We now need to get olive oil. So let's go olive farm. Wait, this way. Olive Once farm. olives have been grown here, we will need to construct an olive press to provide the oil our households need. Olive press? Let's put those two there. Hmm. I think we just put it like this and hope the surplus goes into the warehouse. Right? Okay. So we'll start getting olive oil in, which will evolve the houses to the next level. Um, this personal wealth. Oh, okay. Governor, so, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. I don't know what, whether this personal wealth affects anything. Maybe happiness? Housing chart. Oh, okay. It does actually just show everything. So we can see olive oil to get to the large hut, and then we get down to villas. Oh, it's just domus, then villa, palace, town center. Okay. All right. So this will start evolving some of these houses. City Olives. happiness is falling. Yeah, olives are stored in the granary, but olive oil is stored in the warehouse. Yeah. Not sure if, um, well, I guess one farm to four linens is enough to supply these houses. So one farm to four olive oil should supply this. There we go, we're getting small hovels. So the tax goes from 6 to 8. Alright, so that, that's a sizable increase. We have 27 wine to go here. Oh, this I think the stone did send out. The trade market has zero. Stone's going out, yes! So this... This uh, wine mule is coming back. We get the money when they arrive a home, right? from Crassus. Governor! Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. I am mightily impressed by your city. One day its wealth and influence may come to equal my own. I was so confused by that. We have a message from Crassus. Our granary is empty. <laughs> All right, so this mule just came back. We still have zero trade. Do we get the money when they arrive back home? Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Okay, we're gonna boost up. Why do we have no trade profit? We sold wine. This guy went to deliver wine and then came back home. But we don't have any trade profits. You get the money when they reach Rome. Oh, that's... That's confusing. We get the money when we reach Rome. Uh, 
Oh, angled roads are terrible in this game. That's one thing Caesar 4 actually did. Okay. Because you can angle buildings in Caesar 4. But you can't angle buildings here, but you can build angled roads. <laughs> so it's, it's very strange. Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. The way roads render in this game is like Hail, SimCity Governor, 2000. What would you like to research next? Faster research highways. Research started. Kind of expensive, but it makes everything run faster. Oh, happiness is tanking. Uh, let's increase wages. How did happiness tank so quickly? Plus 10 temporary point boost to happiness. Can I queue this? I'm so scared of clicking because it might cancel my current research, which I've already paid for, and that costs 500. Uh, I could increase. It's because our granaries emptied out, right? That's why people are unhappy. So we're increasing wages by two ticks. Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. No, there's 24 food in the granary. There's now 48 food in the granary. What are you talking about? Okay, so sales are going fine. Uh, large hovels. So these are small hovels. We need medium hovels, which are bed and religion. And then large hovel, which requires... What? Piped water, baths, entertainment, bread. Okay. <sighs> Fix the fourth butcher not working. All the butchers should be working. They don't need road access. And they're all in range, so it should be fine. Don't These travel houses. the road south at night. They say it's haunted. <laughs> okay. So no research currently Hail, selected. Governor. What would you like to research next? Let's Governor, boost happiness. Food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. Governor, there are fires starting in the city. What? It just immediately burned down. Does that mean we lose our trade? Some of these categories are weird. Stone. Philosophy has been researched. 24. Philosophy has been researched, which gives us some happiness back, but that's not Hail, a lot. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Plus one permanent boost to city happiness is... City happiness is rising. Is... Does that mean... Plus one... Does it mean this is plus one? Overall. Plus eight. What was unemployment level? Was it food? What happened? What was tanking happiness? So it, it ticks like that. Plus eight from research. Why is it plus eight? Don't temples give happiness? Maybe? Uh, right now I need more olive oil to go over here. Or maybe I could just focus on because we, we only need six large hovels. So maybe I just focus on the easy row here. Um, so these guys need beds and religion next. So we can, I think I can afford this, uh, go to wood camp.
and go to commerce bed shop. The resources are still a weird choice. This costs 112 to do. Okay, I gotta be a little conservative until we start making more money. So we're gonna start selling beds. We're just gonna focus on this road here. This is gonna be the higher class citizens because we've actually sold enough wine. Uh, we'll be selling enough stones soon enough. I, I'm not sure whether we lost... I think we actually lost a stone shipment because this just burnt down. Which sucks. Um, so we'll just try and get six large hovels here. Upgrading houses to a level where the wife, where they get married, is important because then the wife will handle getting the food goods so your worker doesn't spend time on that. Oh! So there is a massive benefit to... to people getting married. Huh. Okay. How much is one of these? Two fifty? A two fifty each? Okay. I'm gonna wait until a bit more money comes in. Uh, let's look at finances. Tax revenue only slightly surpasses wage bill right now. Um, happiness is averaging minus one, which is not great. You can always drop work time. We're at 18 happiness. So you want to keep this positive. Yeah, so plus one happiness is actually huge. Because it really it's like changing your your wages by a whole level. Okay. Um We just need some money. We need, we need some sales to go off. We're currently sending 23 wine. That'll do it. City happiness is falling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. I gotta deal with this. Reduce work... Oh, why are people so unhappy? Oh, it's all unemployment. You people are unhappy that you don't have work? Spend less time working. <laughs> uh... I don't have money for things. If I can get... I need to build one temple. Let's get that going. So there's at least... Yeah, people walk pretty fast on our roads now. Because we got the highway research. We cannot... I think I should, just in case, save right here. Game saved. Game saved. Because if we drop to zero money right now, Governor, we just there insta there are fires lose. starting in the city. Why? Okay, how much is one of these? 200 for a file. Mm. Fine, just stock up stone for now. Okay, happiness. I came plus one. Wait, why did this, why did the, the carpenter shop burnt down? Okay, we just got some money from trade, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now I have to rebuild the carpenter shop. And I need to, I guess, throw down a couple more fire watches. Okay, that's very expensive. I'll let stone stockpile. We've got plenty of food, granary filled up. How do you do? 
So I'm seeing some some wives, so I'm assuming marriages are happening. <laughs> I don't know how you keep track of marriages. Um, can you tell how many people are married? Sort by personal wealth. Sort by followed families. Oh. You can follow individual families, right? Wait, there's a detail. You can see individual families. But you can't see... There must... There probably is a way. All that flammable stone up in flames. Yeah, we lost all the stone in a fire. Oh no. <laughs> Right, so... This hot sun is making me feel quite weak. Are there six hills in Rome or seven? So, religion access is a little slow. Yeah, I see why you need to build so many. There is a research Hail, to boost Governor. up. What would you like to research next? These are all so expensive. This one's a hundred. Ten boost to empire rating. I don't think empire rating matters too much. We're never going to be able to sell this stone. We've sold 85 wine. I'm just trying to evolve some of these gave houses. Me this friendship ring. I think the stone is glass, but it's ever so pretty. <laughs> um, are we producing any beds? Are we getting any beds? I, I just... I'm not sure. Why are there... why is there wood in the warehouse? But none in the carpentry I've shop. I've heard they captured some wild men from Britannia. All hairy, naked and covered in blue paint. Okay, so this guy's still on break. I just need to watch this guy. Does he go and... okay, it's work time. Get up. Are you... do you have wood? Okay. He's manufacturing a bed. Should you connect the road? Look how much money we've got. Okay, that's three beds. So that means... okay, so the wife goes and carries the entire bed! <laughs> they say that pale skin and red lips are in this season. And there's a whole bed added to the house. Look at that. And then it becomes a medium hovel. Oh, okay. I think we lost the beds in the fire as well. So now we're getting medium hovels and we need large hovels to evolve. So they now need entertainment and bread from a bakery. Okay. Entertainment and bread from a bakery. We need money to build those things. How much tax is this I was this saying pay? to my husband Ten? the other night, how good the roads are. Can we... People are still unhappy. Finances... We're just not making much money at all. Trade goes so slow. I have to build that trade thing. It costs 250. This is cutting it so close. But I guess as long as we don't build anything else, Governor, it's fine. Governor, we have very little money left. I know, I know. Just, just sell the stone. How much stone did we have in stock? So that's 10, that's 20, just grab everything, I think it's 21, 21, okay, trigger it. You head out when there's 20. So we're gonna send that, um, okay, wine is about to reach, that's 23. Governor, we have very little money left. 
I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Medium hovels pay a There's lot. There's not a big choice of temples, is there? Well, they pay ten. They pay ten. I mean, small hovels pay eight. So basically, each house level pays two more. So it it adds a bit, but okay, we just got that. So getting to large hovels, so we can win, needs yeah entertainment and bakery. So oh, we have to import that. So let's set up entertainment first. Taverna. Cheap and easy to use. Does this need wine? Look how fast people can... Does this need any resource? Or is it just fine? What is... What is this in this person's backpack? It looks like... A bird of some kind. What is that? It's a goose? Why does this person have a goose in a backpack? Happiness, it's still zero. I've dropped work time, so people are working much less. We just need money. Uh, stone, 21 stone will be reaching. All right. For the emperor! So some entertainment has been provided well met. here. So then we just need bread. I wish they'd hurry up and invent separate toilets. I like my privacy when I'm on the loo. We also need... Actually, most places, a lot of places have beds, but no religious access. So we need... Yeah, we need another temple. So let's go Diana. Okay. But these are evolving to small hovels as well, actually. Okay. So that In should Rome, we trust. So that should give all the religion access we need. Like this house here, it's got it's got a bed, but it doesn't have religion access. So that's four. Yeah, we should get five. We need five? We need six. We need six houses. So this is one, two, three, four, five. We should get six evolved. I don't know. I don't know if we have enough beds. <laughs> beds last quite a long time. So it should be okay. Beds should slowly go out. There's two more beds there. Okay. Yeah, they don't need that many beds. Uh isn't the green part the range of the houses? Yes. So it pretty much covers everything. Keep in mind, uh, they don't all need access to the granary and the shops because, for example, these houses can't access the granary, but they can reach the butcher's shops. So it's um, the workshops are also mini markets for their own resource. You can buy it straight from the shop the or it's stored in the granary. The Emperor married a horse. Very well. So be it. Okay, so we have four, five, six. We've got six. We've got seven medium hovels. Great. Childbirth will be easy while Diana is well served. Uh, so now we just need bread. City happiness is rising. And we can win. We just need bread and we can win. Um, bread. We need to import... Wheat. So we import wheat, right? Not flour. Yeah, they sell eight wheat. No, no, they sell wheat for eight. And then we need to have prepped up a mill. This mill will collect wheat from a farm or warehouse 
and turn it into flour for the city's bakeries. Okay. We gotta make sure we don't lose this money. Any trades happening soon? Yes, another 23 wine going out. That's a good amount of money. Happiness is lower, mainly because of unemployment. Jeez. Uh, tax revenue is slightly higher than wage. So happiness is slowly dropping. It's so hard to stabilize money in this game. Trade is worth so little, and tax isn't worth much more either. Ran out of water? The well is literally outside your house. Like, it's, it's there. Like, it's... Grab the water. It, it's right here. You really need to house everyone to get that tax money. Like, low-level housing probably doesn't pay much, right? Like, shacks? How much does a shack pay? One. Yeah, it's not worth a lot. It only costs one to put down a shack. I guess we can just scatter some houses around. All right, that might help a little bit. Uh, then I need to put down a bakery. I guess I'll put down two bakeries. And then I need to have a trade market here. And this will be buying 25 wheat to put into this warehouse. Is that correct? And this warehouse is accepting nothing except for wheat. Yes. Now this road is not quite aligned, but sure. Uh, stone is just heading out. Great. So we just got a bit of money. And now we're going to buy wheat. So we should really make sure we don't spend much. Okay. We set it to buy 25 wheat. It costs 8 each. What is 25 times 8? Can someone just do that math real quick for me? 25 times 8. 200. Okay, so we're not gonna go bankrupt from this. This is gonna bring in some wheat. We've sold enough stone. <sighs> sold plenty of wine. Yeah, that's going to buy. So I assume it, it deducts the money when it gets there. Let's look, look at finances. Tax revenue. See, tax revenue is just 38 higher than wage bills. We, we get 38 per tick. Which is per month, I guess? Is it per month? Wait, no, that's per year. Wait, no. Yeah, that, that's the year so far. Hold on, let's see here. Uh, tax revenue is 2320. This is 2195. So we're basically getting like 225 per year. Which is not a lot. 225 per year from taxes. <laughs> you don't get that much money. City happiness is falling. Yes, so it is. So we got 600 now. We just earned a bit more money. Profit loss for this year. Yeah, it's about 100 something and it's July. So yeah, we're getting like 200 something from taxes. Can you remain stable long enough to get trade money in? Well, on this mission, yes, because there's no military or anything. There's no wild animals attacking. There's no soldiers attacking. Um, Governor, citizens are rioting in the city. And I don't know why that keeps happening. Enemies are attacking our buildings. Where? I'm guessing our watchtowers are actually 
functioning oh no they're here so i need to have a watchtower here what was this large hut okay check your traders have purchased vital supplies at a distant city governor citizens are rioting in the city the enemy is right there enemies are attacking our buildings what are you trying to shoot <sighs> okay we killed someone okay I actually feel like this game could do with a slower... Oh, we were on fast. All right. All right. I, I think this game could actually do with a slow speed. We were playing on fast just now, because I think I was just waiting for money. Okay, wine is about to arrive as well. Great. 25 wheat is coming back. That should generate, I assume, 25 bread. I'm not sure what the ratio is. We currently have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven medium hovels. We need six of them to become large hovels and then we win. Ugh. Like, I feel like this game needs a slow speed because if you pause the game and click on anything, it unpauses the game. Right? But you can pause the game, click on something which unpauses the game, pause the game again, click on something that unpauses the game, pause the game again, so it's okay to, to build and do things when the game is paused. It's just clicking anything unpauses the game. <laughs> Does P pause the game? Okay, P does pause the game. So you can press P to pause, click on something, P to pause, click on something, P to pause, build something, P to pause. <laughs> it's very strange. I don't know why the game unpauses when you click on any UI element. Oh, and people are unhappy. I guess I can afford to pay more wages. I just need temporarily to get back into green for happiness here. Yeah. Hail, so, Governor. What would you like to research next? I could do this. I can afford this now. Research started. That's a permanent plus one to happiness. Plus one per tick, by the way. It's a plus one flow. Okay, we sold the wine. Stone is on the way. 21 stone. The 25 wheat is coming back. Okay, good. Is this sponsored? Sponsored by Rome. They gave us lots of money to build this city. <laughs> in game, in game. As in the briefing for this mission was actually, yeah, go, go, um, here's a lot of money, go build this city. Also, the population number is weird. This city right here is almost 10,000 population. If you go to the world map and click on Rome, it says the population is 21,400. So that's implying Rome is double this, which sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Rome is not double this. It is like a hundred times this. <laughs> What's the best 3D Roman city builder in your opinion? This is the first time I'm playing this. So right now I put this right now with my experience so far of the last couple hours this is on par to caesar 4. this one has some interesting simulation it's a bit more children of the nile where individual houses are simulated and animations are great in this game by the way for the time and everything every bit of data is visualized so when a house has resources the quantity and types are shown when you zoom into the house Right? It's actually just shown right there. Um, ah, the wheat's in. Uh, and the people are all individually simulated and everything, which is 
to a higher degree than Caesar 4. But a lot of the UI and gameplay mechanics in this are weirder than Caesar 4. It's stranger. Like the resource types are stranger. Um, some of the mechanics are stranger. You get used to them, but it's okay. So right now I'm putting the this code on of laws par. has been researched. I'm putting this on par. This game is weird because it's one of Firaxis's adventures. <laughs> right? You know how Firaxis used to go out and work on other games in collaborations? Like Firaxis went to Will Wright, the Sims creator, and made Sim Golf. Right? This is Firaxis working with Firefly Studios. Governor! Citizens are rioting in the city. So the Stronghold creators. So this is Stronghold plus Enemies Civilization. Enemies are attacking our buildings. Stronghold plus Civilization, but it's a city building. City happiness is rising. Okay, so I want to drop wages again. We got Code of Laws, so that gives us one free tick on happiness. Uh, I assume our watchtowers killed the rioters. Hopefully, we'll see a fire show up soon. Okay, we just sold the stone, I think, and then we're going to buy more wheat. The priests at the Temple of Diana. Now, they're making a denarii or two these days. Okay, so the bakers the are currently... The Temple of Diana. Now, they're making a denarii or two these days. The bakeries are currently chilling. A friend of mine gave me this friendship ring. I think the stone is glass, <laughs> but it's ever so pretty. I think we need to build one more well because water supply is actually struggling. Oh no, the rioters are still going. Is there no one working here? No, he's just at home. Oh, finally, you're gonna go kill him. Great, thank you. Sometimes the soldiers go out and, and kill them. Oh, there were riots here. The problem, yeah, the problem with this destruction timer is that you can't, like, you can't, oh wait. Double clicking does work sometimes. You have to double click to destroy things quickly. Okay, there we go. Why did this house immediately evolve back into a large hut? Was that a bug? Governor, there are fires starting in the city. You saw that, right? I, I just rebuilt that. There are fires starting in the city. I hope the trade didn't go off. Okay. Yeah, probably a bug. This house just immediately got water, meat, and tunics. Are the bakery is working? I can get almost anywhere I want by road. That's great. In Rome, we trust. There's 16 bread in here. There's 8 bread here. Okay. Bread has... Look how they carry the beds around. They just lift them like that. So a whole bunch of bread has been... I love our empire. ...set up, I think. So this should be putting some... Wait, no. What are those? Oh, it's wheat. Wheat has just been stocking up there. Uh, bread should be showing up. Who's bought bread? Ah, there we go. This medium hovel, large hovel. Look at this. Look at that. That's that's a nice. They still have their lasagna sink. I don't know why it's that color. What is that? That that is a sink, right? Why is it lasagna colored? So they have bread now. So that's their olive oil stock up there. That's their bread stock right there. Water stock is there. They have clothes and their bed is there. 
and the meat is hanging under here. So you see everything is simulated, everything's visually displayed. Alright, that's three large hovels. Yeah, should be easy. We just need these three here to go get bread. Which... There's 13, 14 more bread. With more wheat in the warehouse and quite a lot of wheat in this warehouse as well. Uh, I should have actually... I don't know why it sent wheat here. Like, why would it send wheat to that warehouse when this warehouse is available right here? Like, some of these things, I just don't know why they work that way. Hey, old governor. Research. What would you like to research next? All build costs reduced by 10%. That's kind of worth it. Temple access quicker, plus one boost of city happiness. Okay, really. Research started. The plus one happiness thing, is, it's, it's huge. This overall is cost, right? Now, currently work time is really reduced. I met a traveler the other day who said the lands to the north are always covered in ice. Okay, you need to research marriage. I don't know why I need to research marriage when there are people getting married. I don't know what the what the connection is there. <laughs> okay, but Governor, citizens are rioting in the city. Right. Enemies are attacking our buildings. I guess I replace this house here with a watchtower. That should kill rioters quickly. I assume they're rioting because they're unemployed. We can increase wages. <laughs> Ran out of water? What? Why do they keep running out of water? There's a rumor just... going around that you never sleep. Is that true? Why do they keep running out of water? We can't build the reservoir yet. I mean, should I just have another well, I guess? You really need the this many will wells? Be happy. Mercury is well served. And why is bread not going out? We have so much bread. We just we just need them to buy bread. Childbirth will be easy while Diana is well served. We just need bread. We actually hit 10,000 population right there. Five, only 2,700 are actually housed. Most people are just not, not living Religion in has been researched. Religion has been researched. Hail, governor. What would you like to research next? So marriage costs 500. So I'm going to wait till we get a bit more money. These things still burning down. Why? There's a large hut. Like, there's just no way to deal with rioters. Like, effectively. There's, there's a watchtower right here, but I assume both... I can smell smoke. I hope the fire isn't coming this way. Is he inside the tower? Is he in there? Is he in there? He's in there! Look! There's the guy- there's the security guy. This is the rioter right here. He's- he's right there! Beware of Greeks bringing gifts, my mum always said. Not that I've ever met a Greek like. Kill him! He's he's just sitting there watching the rioter go. I can get almost yeah, anywhere I want by road. He's That's on a great. Break. And I can't I can't many temples force to him to go. These days. The messenger has got to be pleased with that. 
I can't force him to go. Great, and a destroyed shop says empty shop. I assume that was a butcher's. <laughs> Hail, governor. Research what would you marriage. like to research next? Okay, can we please get Not these houses to buy happy. bread? Mercury is well served. Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. They're not empty. There's food in them. Just, just buy bread. Just buy bread. Game saved. No. Nope. Speed up the game. Maybe they will buy bread. No, no, no. Okay. City happiness is falling. Increase wages. Why aren't these houses buying bread? If you're ever short of eye makeup, oh, they're not in range of these shops. How much oil? bread sits Governor, in the shops before they send it to the granary? Our granaries are dangerously low. Governor, we have very little money left. How much? How much? How do we send the bread Governor, to the granary? Our city granaries are now empty. Marriage has been researched. How do we get the bread into the granary? There's like a hundred bread here, which will win us the game immediately, but they're just Governor, slightly- your mission is a failure. Grave tidings, Governor. The Senate has refused to grant our city a loan. We are bankrupt. How do- how do I- how do I force the bread out? Um... Governor, food levels in our granaries are dangerously low. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bakery here, and hopefully that... People are just super unhappy because... Yeah, rations are super low. Suddenly we have no food. But I have no money to do anything. Finances, okay. Um, so with that bakery there, let's try this. Let's just have people unhappy. Sure, just riot. <laughs> I want this bakery working. I hear the emperor's just recovered from a nasty cold. Make bread, make bread. Once this bakery bakes bread and these houses evolve, we just win. That's all we need. I accidentally built these bakeries Marriage has been researched. Out of out of range from these houses, that's why. Does this place have wheat? Are you Governor, baking bread? Food levels in our granary. Governor, your mission is a success. Governor, our city granaries are now empty. We did it! <laughs> success, congratulations! Success! Your mission is a success! Woo! Hail K-Star! Ah, such success! Rome is awash with our wine! I have my investment returned and our baby city is the envy of every merchant in town. Now we must breathe some civilization into your streets and show Rome what you have achieved here. There is no greater mark of civilized man than to take a regular bath. And this is what you will provide for Tarentum. When water flows not only in Rome, but into a second city of the Empire, 
Our triumph will be complete. Baths taken, 12. Small insula, 0 out of 8. Building an aqueduct and cistern, piped water. First tower in your aqueduct system must be placed by a river. Once large hovel is ready to upgrade to small insula, you'll have to manually upgrade it. Mm. To go to the next tier. Remember, bathhouses must be placed in an area with cistern coverage to function. You can further boost your entertainment rating, so your civilization rating by improving city entertainment. Piazza or two, musician school, right. So it puts us back here in our city. <laughs> anyway. I think that's a good look for today, for Civ City Rome. It was more fascinating than I thought it was. Governor, right? our city granaries are now empty. It's more fascinating than I thought it was. Oh, let's fix that. Uh, because I didn't actually realize before this that this was actually Firefly plus Firaxis. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um... So that actually makes a lot of these decisions interesting, right? Like, it, it makes sense when you know it's Firefly and Firaxis. That's a nice shot there. And it's like... It's an okay game. It's an okay game. For 2006, and this predates Caesar IV. So they were not looking at Caesar IV when this was in development. This actually released a couple months before Caesar IV. Um, so I don't think Caesar IV was referencing this either. But this has so many interesting elements from Stronghold, and it's got a tech tree like civilization, but it's a city builder, which clearly has some Caesar influences as well. I, I would say it's mostly Stronghold, but it is a city builder. It's like Stronghold plus Caesar III with touches of civilization. And back then, Sid Meier was probably still a bit hands-on with things. So he was probably doing that thing where it's like, Oh, let's go work on a Sims game. Let's go work on a Firefly city building game, you know? So I do want to go check out the other games around this time as well. Well, there's one which was 2008 and one which is 2010, which is there's Grand Ages Rome. And then there's Imperium Romanum. And there's actually one which is... Uh, not sold anywhere right now. I, th I think it's basically abandoned where which was Roman ages of something. Uh, th there's another one. There's, there's actually like four or five of these 3D Roman city builders from the mid to late noughties. And I do want to go check them all out. But I'm happy I saw this one first. This one was the earliest one. And it's very interesting. Right now, I'd rank this at the same level of Caesar IV. It's got some things which are jankier than Caesar IV, but some things which are better than Caesar IV. So, Civ City Rome and Caesar IV, I would say, are about the same. You know, the Steam reviews would tell you this is much better than Caesar IV. Gameplay-wise, this is more interesting, but there's things that just don't make sense. <laughs> um, I would say maybe as a whole, through this campaign, there's a lot more personality and character. Than Goods Caesar have IV. been sold by your traders in a distant city. Caesar Four feels blander because this has some Children of the Nile inspirations. I think now Grand Ages Rome can be bought. Um, I'm talking about another one, not Grand Ages Rome, not Imperium Romanum, not Civ City Rome. Those three are all on Steam. There's another one. <laughs> Not Caesar Four, So there's another one, a fifth one. Glory of the Roman Empire. That's the one. Thank you so much, Lord Nestor. Glory of the Roman Empire is the fifth game that's not on Steam or GOG. So that's kind of abandoned where. Um, would be interesting to see that as well. So there's five... Your traders have purchased vital supplies at a distant city. This constant voice talking, that's just Firefly Studios. So there's five... Ancient Roman 3D city builders from the mid to late noughties, and I want to check them all out. Good. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you found this interesting, us foraying into Civ City Rome. I do want to go check out the others. And if you want to see a full Caesar 4 playthrough, there's, you can check that out.
Um, it's actually, it, it gets good after like eight to ten missions. Then Priests it gets good. Priests are worried that the mighty Jupiter will frown on the lack of respect shown him in this city. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.